Hey, what's up guys? This is Spencer from Pixel and Bracket. In this video, we're gonna look at how to create a yin and yang symbol in two different ways. One way is gonna be like the version you guys have all seen. The other way is gonna, I'm gonna show you how to sort of skew it and create your own waveform through a circle, pretty much. All right guys, let's open up Illustrator and get started. The first thing that we wanna do is make a circle. So if I come over here to my shape tools, I can click and hold and I'll find the ellipse tool. The shortcut key for that is L. And down here or anywhere you see this these uh, this little stroke and fill icon, you can change whether it is a stroke or a fill. So I've got a black stroke set on this circle. So when we draw the circle out here, it's gonna be a black outline. Now I gotta hold shift to make a circle and I like also holding option or alt to make it from the center. So let's just create a circle, boom, there we go. All right, let's go a little faster. We're gonna bring this circle over here we got to create some more of these guys. So I'm going to duplicate this circle by clicking on it, holding option or alt and clicking and dragging out to the side. I'm also holding shift and notice that pink line, that's smart guides. Smart guides are going to be helpful here. I'm going to go up to view down to smart guides and turn those on. Now that I've got this second circle created, I'm gonna come down here to the bottom point till I get the double ended arrow, click on it and drag it up until I hit that center point. Once again, Smart Guide's helping us. It's the wrong shape, so don't forget to hold shift while you do that. Boom, there we go. Once we got that, I'm gonna shift back to that um, selection tool. We should already be on there anyway. And I'm just gonna click and drag this back over until it lines up in the center of the circle right there. Now I'm gonna hold Option or Alt again, click and drag down to duplicate this to the bottom. Everything should be lining up and snapping into place in all of these points here. Okay, and the last thing I wanna do is actually duplicate this circle. I'm gonna go up to Object down to, actually Edit down to Copy and that's just Command or Control C. And then I'm gonna do Paste in front, and that's Command or Control F. And what it does is it pastes a second version in front of this object you already had sitting there. So notice how we have two circles down here now. Well, this second object that I should have selected, just click the circle on top. I'm gonna to make it smaller, but make it smaller in place. So I'm gonna click on the corner here, double-ended arrow, start dragging down, hold Shift and hold Alt or Option and just make a smaller circle here in the in the middle of this one. This is kind of that little coloration that you get in the yin and yang. I'm gonna hold option or alt, click and drag this up. You can also hold shift to keep it lined up until it intersects with the center of this top circle. Okay, so we've made a bunch of circles. Well now I wanna click and drag to select the three biggest circles right there. And then we're gonna do the shape builder tool. So over here, these two circles with the little pointer key, or Shift M for the shortcut. And now we can see all these different shapes. And if you look, we actually have, if we added these two shapes together, we're gonna have a side of that yin and yang, or maybe the yin side, we'll call this the yin, actually I don't know which side's which, I'm gonna get it wrong. Click and drag to combine those together, just like that, and now we've got one side. I'm gonna come over here, do the same thing, click and drag, and there we go. We've got two sides of our yin and yang. Now all we really have to do is color these guys. So I'm gonna take this right hand side and make, and I don't know what if, what officially, which side should be what, you can just rotate it if you need to. Uh, I'm gonna color this, it's already got a black outline, so I could click this little swap fill and stroke, that's shift X as a shortcut key, and now that is filled with black instead of having a black stroke. The other thing I'm gonna do is go to this uh, this left side here and instead of having like a one point stroke let's make it something like three so we can see it and then I'm gonna click on the stroke um, drop down so you can find that in window drop down to stroke or you can click this little stroke label and instead of having this stroke aligned to the center I'm gonna align it to the inside that's gonna help us uh, line up the outside edge of our uh, yin and yang in case it gets off or in case you make this like 10 points or something even thicker of a stroke. Okay, so we gotta fill in these two circles. This one, I'm going to swap the fill and stroke to make it a black fill and no stroke. And then down here, this guy, he actually needs no stroke. So I'm gonna put zero points on the stroke and then the fill we're gonna make white just like that. So there you have it, yin and yang symbol right there. Let's make symbol number two. 
Okay, I'm gonna grab the arc tool. It should be in the line segment tool drop down. Click and hold, go to arc. I'm gonna create a little arc out here. Um, and then I'm gonna rotate this guy. So I'm gonna go back to that selection tool, find my little uh, sort of rotate tool just outside the corner, hold shift and rotate it so it looks just like that. Then I'm gonna duplicate this guy out and hold shift until it locks in there. Actually, that probably doesn't matter yet. And let's add a stroke to these so we can see it. So just click and drag, uh, grab both of those, add a little stroke to it, maybe three points like that. Okay, so this guy on the right, I'm just going to rotate him around all the way until we have this sort of wave form line here. Once I got that, since they are locked in right there, I'm gonna go up to object, down to path, and with them both selected, join. That's command or control J. Now this is one uh, continuous path. Let's make another circle. So go up to that ellipse tool, shortcut key is L, and I'm gonna to try to find the intersection point here, somewhere in there. We'll line this up here in a second. Create a circle out of that, hold shift, hold alt, hold option, all those things, just make a circle just like that. Okay, so we've got this little like shallower waveform, right? It's not quite as this 90 degree turn uh, of this yin and yang. I just wanted to show how you could customize this a little bit. I'm gonna grab this path and sh hold shift and grab the circle. And then I'm gonna let go of shift and just click the circle. That's gonna be align to key object. And if I find my alignment panel up here in window, drop down, down to align, it'll pop out. I can make sure it's aligned to key object. If you don't see this stuff down here, just show options right there. Uh, and then I'm gonna do horizontal, align center and vertical align center. Now I know this little wave is right in the middle of this circle. This kind of reminds me of the Pepsi logo, I think. So what we can do here to sort of adjust the, mm, I don't really know what to call it, not really shallowness, but how, how heavy of a wave this is, is we could grab a tool that I almost never use, which is the scale tool. And what we can do with this tool, if we click kind of anywhere around here and start to drag up and down, we can adjust how shallow or how heavy this wave is and how wide, how skinny, how whatever description this is supposed to be, I can't think of the word right now, but we can adjust this any way you want. And of course you can always, once you get that adjusted a little bit, if you don't like the slant on that, you can always rotate this object a little bit as well and just adjust this to however you want. Now, if I want to color both sides of this, what I'm gonna do is click and drag everything. And of course, my favorite tool, the Shape Builder tool, Shift M, and it sees both sides. All you have to do is click on a side, click on the other side. See, notice how it has that plus icon. It's just creating shapes out of those sides. Now we actually can delete these extra points out here. And I've got two shapes down here now. So just two shapes that fit together perfectly. And I could just color one side by creating a fill or swapping the fill and stroke just like that. Now same thing, and this is the point that I was making earlier. Let's make this stroke more like 10. Look at how the stroke, I'm gonna zoom in here, look at how the stroke comes outside of the other circle. That's why you need to click on this top one, go to those stroke options and align it to the inside. That way it lines up perfectly with the other side of the circle. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll be around more often. I promise I'm gonna do more videos more often. I'm hoping to up the quality of videos too. We'll probably have a 2018 year recap video coming up soon. Thanks for watching, you guys. Subscribe for more tips and tutorials, and I'll see you next time.